Hi, uh, so you watched uh, vitamin uh, D and uh, you know vitamin D is associated not only with calcium absorption but it also involved in um, uh, magnesium and phosphorus. Uh, so they all are in interlinked. So now this, uh, this time we are going to talk about magnesium. It is a type 2 micronutrient so it is uh, very very important uh, basically it is useful in so many different enzymatic reactions you will see in our tutorial. Magnesium is one mineral which is primarily available in vegetarian food. So if you are non-veg, uh, you will need to add some, uh, you know, vegetarian source of food, you know, like seeds and nuts which are high in magnesium into your uh, non-veg recipes. And I think probably that's why, you know, uh, we have uh, lots of Kerala dishes have cashews, uh, Goan dishes have cashews and, you know, so even fish curry and a lot of this, uh, you know, it's amazing actually, which when you look at uh, our culture you know they have uh, this ancient knowledge about what to uh, add in your non veg dishes which would improve a lot of these minerals right so uh, one thing about magnesium is that uh, uh, it has so many effects you know if, if you again if you look at our tutorial we have done so much research on magnesium you know uh, main thing is it helps with the headache uh, and I have basically experienced in a lot of my patients that, you know, if they had any migraine or if we had any chronic headache conditions that improved when they started increasing magnesium through their food. And then some people needed some supplements also. Uh, magnesium is also important for uh, reduction of blood pressure. Uh, sometimes some people, they get a lot of cramps, you know, muscle cramps and uh, magnesium does help with that also uh, magnesium low magnesium has effect on cardiovascular diseases uh, so it's important that you know uh, we take magnesium uh, in the form of food of course uh, it also helps with sleep actually so it relaxes you it uh, you know uh, makes you sleep better the, the sleep is deeper uh, some good good food sources as i mentioned uh, do think about it uh, i have shown in our tutorial that what are the good food sources uh, we have also given recipes veg and non-veg recipes do watch them uh, although we won't be asking questions on recipes but you know it will be important to understand how to mix a lot of this ingredient you know natural ingredient which can give you all those amazing minerals you know which are so important for your uh, bodily functions so, so so do watch this three tutorials which are coming up. Thank you. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the importance of magnesium. In this tutorial, we will learn about minerals as essential nutrients, importance of magnesium in our diet, causes and symptoms of its deficiency, food sources of magnesium, and requirements for different age groups. Let's understand why minerals are necessary in our diet. Minerals are essential nutrients. We require minerals in small quantities for good health. Our body does not produce minerals by itself. Hence, they have to be taken through diet. Minerals are required for blood clotting they help in maintaining blood sugar and blood pressure. Production of hemoglobin and red blood cells require minerals. They contribute towards muscle contraction and brain development. Minerals are also needed for strong immunity and production of thyroid hormones. Magnesium is an essential mineral needed by our body. It is required for muscle relaxation. It helps in sending and receiving messages by central nervous system. This nutrient is required for healthy bones and teeth as well. We also need magnesium for energy production and DNA synthesis. Let's try to understand 
the causes and symptoms of deficiency of this nutrient. Certain factors cause increased risk of magnesium deficiency. Among them are poor diet and intake of processed food. Other factors include excessive consumption of alcohol, tea and or coffee. Inadequate absorption of magnesium is also responsible for increased deficiency. During pregnancy, the requirement of magnesium increases. Failure to meet this requirement also leads to deficiency. Signs of magnesium deficiency include loss of appetite and weakness. It also includes headache, migraine and muscle cramps. If the deficiency progresses, people may experience abnormal heartbeat. Low levels of calcium and potassium are also a possibility. Magnesium deficiency increases the risk of type 2 diabetes and hypertension. It may also increase the risk of osteoporosis and heart diseases. Osteoporosis is a condition where bone density is reduced. The bones become fragile and prone to fractures. Other signs of osteoporosis are stooped posture, loss of height and back pain. To avoid deficiency, we must include magnesium rich food in our diet. Beans, nuts, seeds, leafy vegetables and grains are good sources of magnesium. Let's take a quick look at this nutrient content found in these food sources. 30 grams of beans have around 64 milligrams of magnesium. 2 tablespoons of seeds have roughly 123 milligrams. 100 grams of leafy vegetables have about 194 milligrams. 20 grams of nuts have around 61 milligrams and 30 grams of grains have nearly 81 milligrams. Although we can get magnesium through diet, its absorption is also important. Phytates and oxalates present in the food hinder absorption of magnesium. Fiber also has the same effect. Soaking beans before cooking improves the absorption of this nutrient. So does fermentation, germination, cooking and roasting. Recommended intake of magnesium varies for different age groups. 75 mg for 7 to 12 months babies. 80 to 130 mg for 1 to 8 years old children. 360 to 400 mg for adolescents, 400 mg for 18 to 19 years old pregnant women. 360 mg is recommended for 18 to 19 years old lactating mothers. For adults, 310 to 400 mg is advised. For pregnant women, it is 350 mg. And for lactating mothers, 310 mg is advised. To meet these requirements, include adequate magnesium rich food in your diet. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on magnesium rich vegetarian recipes. In this tutorial, we will learn about benefits of magnesium, vegetarian sources of magnesium and magnesium rich vegetarian recipes. Magnesium is a mineral which is an essential nutrient required by the body. It is among the type 2 nutrients which has been explained in an another tutorial. 
please visit our website for this tutorial. Magnesium is required for healthy bones and teeth as well. We also need magnesium for energy production and DNA synthesis. The importance of magnesium has been explained in another tutorial. Magnesium is present in beans, nuts, seeds, leafy vegetables and grains. Intake of magnesium and its absorption in the body both are equally important. Fermentation, roasting, germination and cooking improves the absorption. Soaking beans before cooking also does the same. Now, let us see the preparation of our first recipe. Sprouted Moth Beans Cutlet To prepare this recipe, you will need 1 fourth cup sprouted moth beans, 1 cup washed and chopped spinach, 1 tablespoon Bengal gram flour, 4 to 5 cloves of garlic, 1 teaspoon lemon juice, 1 tablespoon roasted sesame seeds and salt to taste. You also need 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 3 teaspoons of oil. I will now explain the procedure. For sprouting, soak moth beans overnight. Drain it in the morning and tie them in a clean muslin cloth. Leave them in a warm place to germinate for 2 days. Please note that different legumes take different time for germination. Once the sprouts are ready, add garlic to it and grind it into a coarse paste. You can use a mixer or a stone grinder to make the paste. Heat a pan and roast the sesame seeds till they turn light golden. Let them cool. To make the cutlets, take the sprouts paste in a bowl. Add roasted sesame seeds, spinach, gram flour, spices, salt and lemon juice. Mix them well. If the paste is dry, add 1 tablespoon water. Divide the paste into 4 portions and shape them into cutlets. Heat the oil in a pan. Shallow fry the cutlets on medium heat till both sides turn golden brown. Moth beans spinach cutlets are ready. 4 cutlets contain around 208 mg of magnesium. Our next recipe is sunflower seeds chutney. For this recipe, you need 2 tablespoons of sunflower seeds, 1 green chilli, 4 to 5 cloves of garlic, 1 small chopped tomato, salt to taste, half teaspoon oil or ghee. Procedure Roast sunflower seeds till they turn light brown on medium heat. Then allow them to cool. Heat oil or ghee in a pan and saute the chopped tomato. Keep it aside to cool. Grind both into a paste along with garlic, chilli, salt and water. Sunflower seeds chutney is ready. 2 tablespoons of this chutney contains around 133 milligrams of magnesium. Next recipe is cow pea sprouts paratha. The procedure for making sprouts has been explained earlier in this tutorial. For this recipe, you will need 1 fourth cup wheat flour, 2 tablespoons cow pea sprouts, 1 tablespoon sesame seeds, 1 green chilli, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon turmeric powder. You also need salt to taste and 2 teaspoons of oil or ghee. First make a coarse paste of cow pea sprouts with green chilli using a mixer. If the mixer is not available, you can use a stone grinder. Heat oil in a pan, add cumin seeds and then sesame seeds. Saute till they change color. Add the cow pea paste and saute for another 2 minutes. Then add salt and turmeric powder and cook for 5 minutes. Keep it aside to cool. To make the paratha, take the flour in a bowl. 
knead a dough out of it by adding sufficient water. Flatten the dough using a rolling pin. Place the cowpea paste on the flattened dough. Cover from all sides. Dust some flour and roll it into a paratha. Heat a pan and cook the paratha on both sides by applying ghee or oil. Cowpea sprouts paratha is ready. One paratha contains around 173 milligrams of magnesium. Next recipe is sprouted Bengal gram dry curry. For this recipe, you will need 1 fourth cup Bengal gram sprouts, 1 cup washed fenugreek leaves, 1 medium chopped tomato, and 1 medium chopped onion. You will also need half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 tablespoon roasted peanut powder, 1 teaspoon oil and salt to taste. Procedure Pressure cook sprouted Bengal gram until 2 whistles. Wait till the pressure is released. Heat oil in a pan, add onions and fry till they change color. Add the tomatoes and cook till they become soft. Add fenugreek leaves and cook for 5 minutes. Now add the spices, salt and sprouted Bengal gram and mix well. To this add peanut powder. Cover the pan with a lid and cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Sprouted Bengal gram curry is ready. Half bowl of this curry contains around 141 milligrams of magnesium. The last recipe is amaranth leaves stir fry. For this recipe, you need 100 grams of washed amaranth leaves, 4 cloves of garlic, 1 small onion, 2 tablespoons grated coconut, 2 green chilies, pinch of turmeric and salt to taste. You will also require 1 teaspoon of oil. Procedure Heat oil in a pan, add garlic, green chilies and onion. Fry till they change color. Now add the amaranth leaves and mix well. Close with the lid and cook for 5 to 7 minutes. Add salt and turmeric and cook for 1 minute. To this add the grated coconut and cook for 5 minutes. Amaranth leaves stir fry is ready. Half bowl of this stir fry contains around 209 milligrams of magnesium. Include these magnesium rich recipes in your daily diet for a good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on non veg recipes enriched with magnesium rich food. In this tutorial, we will learn about food sources of magnesium, preparation of non vegetarian recipes enriched with magnesium. Magnesium is one of the essential minerals required for muscle relaxation. Magnesium is required for healthy bones and teeth as well. We also need magnesium for energy production and DNA synthesis. Sources of magnesium are legumes like cowpea, kidney beans, and Bengal gram. Nuts like almonds, Cashews are also good sources. Sunflower seeds and sesame seeds are other examples. Pearl millet, finger millet and sorghum also contain magnesium. Non-vegetarian food is not a good source of magnesium. Hence, I will be enriching them with magnesium-rich natural food ingredients. Doing so, will help non-vegetarians to get magnesium through diet. The first recipe is dry chicken curry. To prepare this recipe, you need 2 pieces or 100 grams of chicken, 50 grams washed amaranth leaves, 1 and half tablespoons freshly grated coconut, 5 cloves of garlic, 2 dry red chilies, 
हाफ टी स्पून क्यूमिन सीड्स सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट यू ऑल्सो नीड हाफ टी स्पून टर्मरिक पाउडर हाफ टी स्पून चिली पाउडर वन स्मॉल चॉप्ड अनियन वन स्मॉल चॉप्ड टोमेटो टू टी स्पून ऑयल वन टी स्पून लेमन जूस प्रोसीजर वॉश एंड क्लीन द चिकन मैरिनेट द चिकन विथ लेमन जूस एंड रेस्ट इट फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स हीट ऑयल इन अ पैन एड क्यूमन सीड्स गार्लिक एंड ड्राई रेड चिलीज सॉटे फॉर टू मिनट्स टू दिस एड चॉप्ड अनियंस एंड सॉटे टिल दे टर्न लाइट गोल्डन इन कलर एड द टोमेटोज एंड कुक टिल दे बिकम सॉफ्ट Add marinated chicken and mix well. Cover it with a lid and cook for six to eight minutes. Add the spices and amaranth leaves. Cover and cook until chicken is cooked. Lastly, add freshly grated coconut and cook for another five minutes. Dry chicken curry is ready. One serving of this curry has around one thirty-three milligrams of magnesium. The second recipe is steamed eggs dry curry. To prepare this recipe, you need two eggs, fifty grams washed fenugreek leaves, one and half tablespoon sesame seeds powder, one small chopped onion. You also need one teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoons oil, salt to taste. Procedure: Heat a pan and roast sesame seeds until they pop. Allow them to cool. Later, grind them into a powder. To steam the eggs, crack them in a bowl and beat them. Add salt and red chili powder. Mix it well. Grease another bowl with oil and pour the egg mixture in it. Steam this mixture in a steamer. For six to seven minutes. After steaming, allow it to cool. Remove the steamed eggs and cut them into pieces. To make the curry, heat oil in a pan. Add onion and fry until it turns golden brown. To this, add the fenugreek leaves, spices, and sesame seed powder and mix well. Saute this for two minutes. Add the egg pieces to the pan, cover it with a lid, and cook for two to three minutes. Steamed eggs dry curry is ready. One serving of this curry has around one twenty milligrams of magnesium. The next recipe is fish in sunflower seed gravy. To prepare this recipe, you will need two pieces of mackerel. In case mackerel is not available. You can use Bombay duck. The other ingredients needed are two tablespoons of sunflower seeds, one small chopped tomato, one small onion chopped, one teaspoon cumin seeds. You will also require four to five garlic cloves, half teaspoon black pepper, half teaspoon coriander leaves, salt to taste, one teaspoon chili powder. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoons oil. Procedure: Soak sunflower seeds for one to two hours, and then drain them. Marinate the fish with some salt. Set it aside for fifteen to twenty minutes. Dry roast cumin seeds and black pepper on a pan. Allow them to cool. Mix sunflower, cumin. And black pepper seeds. Add a little water and grind them to a smooth paste. We will use this later. Heat oil in a pan. Add onion, garlic. Saute till they turn light golden. Add tomatoes and cook till they become soft. To this, add spices and paste we made. Add little water and cook this for five minutes. Add the marinated fish and mix well. Cover the pan and cook for ten minutes. Lastly, add coriander leaves. 
fish and sunflower seeds gravy is ready. One serving of this curry contains around 168 milligrams of magnesium. The last recipe is cow pea and prawns dry curry. To prepare this recipe, you will need 2 tablespoons of cow pea sprouts, 50 grams of prawns, 1 medium chopped tomato, 1 small chopped onion, 4 to 5 cloves of garlic, 1 teaspoon coriander leaves. You also need 1 teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon oil, 1 teaspoon lemon juice. Procedure for sprouting soak cow peas overnight. Drain it in the morning and tie them in a clean muslin cloth. Leave them in a warm place to germinate for two days. Once the sprouts are ready, keep them aside for later use. We will now make the curry. To make it, first clean and wash the prawns properly. Make a slit on the back side of the prawns. Pull out the black thread from it. This black thread has to be removed from the other side also if found. Marinate the prawns with lemon juice and set aside for 20 minutes. Now heat oil in a pan, add onion, garlic and saute till they turn light golden in color. Add the tomatoes and cook till it becomes soft. To this, add the spices, cowpea sprouts and marinated prawns. Mix it well. Add some water, uncover the pan to cook the prawns for 5 to 8 minutes. When the prawns are cooked, add coriander leaves and give it a mix. Cowpea and prawns dry curry is ready. One serving of this curry contains around 119 milligrams of magnesium. It is important to include magnesium in our daily diet for good health. All these recipes are rich in protein, folate, fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. They are also rich in zinc, iron, choline, and vitamin B12. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining.